Hey guys, so it is, um, what is it today? Tuesday morning. Has not been a good morning thus far. I guess this morning, um, my mom and the lady who cleans our house found out that there was like a sewage backup or whatever in our basement. So there's like poop all over our basement. It smells. And of course, my parents aren't home today, so I've been the one trying to deal with it. So I'm waiting now for, there's been so many people in and out, I'm waiting for a plumber right now and then people to come clean it up. And then I hope this afternoon, if I can, me and Krista are going to go get my neck tattooed. I'm just heading off to volunteer for the afternoon. Um, I haven't done much. Alicia, I guess, has had an eventful morning. She called me because at my parents' house where she is, I guess the sewage somehow backed up in the basement. And my mom had to leave and my dad was already at work, so she had to deal with it and she was not happy. And she can't shower anything till it's fixed because I guess you can't run the water or something, so. Hopefully that gets cleaned up and fixed. I'm glad I'm not there <laughs> dealing with it, but it sounds lovely. I am just on the way to Krista's house um, where we're going to print some different fonts off so I can see kind of what font I want for my tattoo. But the whole tattoo thing has been weird today. I called this afternoon to make sure that they had room for like a walk-in around 5 or 5.30 and the girl like made no sense to me. She was like, uh, because I said like I want a tattoo on my neck and she said on your neck. I said, yeah, it's just like four words and a comma. And um, so she's like, do you have any other tattoos? And I'm like, yeah. And she said, are they visible? And I said, yeah. She said, are there any on your neck? I said, no. She said, oh, well, our tattoo artist that does walk-ins won't do anybody's neck who doesn't have a ton of tattoos already. And I'm thinking, like, that's so weird. So I'm like, okay. And then she's like, well, wait a second. Where on your neck? And I said, like, the very back of it. And she's like, so not the side? I said, no. She goes, well, it's probably best if you come in because um, hands and neck tattoos are very visible and you sound very young. Like, I think she thought, like, I would regret my decision or I was too young to get a neck, neck tattoo, whatever. So she said to call back around 4. So it's 4 now, I, or just after 4. I just called and I spoke to um, a guy that worked there and I was like, I'm confused because I don't understand why I can't get a tattoo on my neck if I don't have other neck tattoos and you think I sound young but I'm 30 years old and I'll have like ID I can improve that and he's like no yeah sorry our tattoo artists some of them won't do um the side of the neck and I'm like I told the girl I wanted the back of my neck so he's like oh yeah that won't be a problem okay so, so I'm just uh joining Chris's place now in the annoying elevator and I'm really in the mood for veggie fresh rolls I'm gonna see if Krista wants to go get some veggie fresh rolls from the Thai place with me but I have a feeling she's gonna say no so this would be like a pre-bet so I can show her that I knew she was going to say no. Well, we could like split a pad thai or something there. Okay. Oh man, I was wrong. I was in the elevator was like, oh, she's going to say no. I'm like, this is a bet to show you guys that she's going to be like, no, I don't want to go. I'm hungry. Well, we'd wait a little bit. In your face. Yeah, apparently. So we are just getting ready. Jillian's here to go grab dinner and then I'm getting my tattoo. And I'm feeling a little bit nervous. I don't know why my stomach's so nervous. I don't care about the pain of it, like, especially since this is what I'm getting tattooed. I don't know if I showed you guys. Through pain comes strength. So it'd be kind of stupid to be, like, scared of pain if you're getting that tattooed on your neck. But I just don't want them to F it up. And I don't know. My adrenaline is pumping. Kristen and Jillian park on different floors, and so we got up at Jillian's floor. And I thought, who wants me to go with them? And neither of them wanted me to go with them. Rude. Well, in the car, I came up with a good comeback that I should have said when she said, do you have any visible tattoos? I should have said, no, I only have invisible tattoos. <laughs> so we're all hungry. We're waiting for our food. Oh, look at Kelly. My strawberry smoothie. Tastes yummy. What'd you get? We all get the same thing, always. Yeah, she got shredded pork roll, shredded pork roll, tofu, fresh roll, Thai Thai rice. We got our fresh rolls. Luckily, Chris didn't notice that hers had the tofu, so I had the pork, and I was like about to eat it. So it would not have been good. Alicia has her first case of brain freeze, and she's just like, "What does it go away? What does it go away?" So we are done dinner, and we are headed off to the tattoo shop, and I am feeling nervous. Not so much to I get the tattoo. Just I just don't like them there that much. 
They're not so friendly. Ew. How, what? Like, Ew. Nice Krista, I don't want it. Chris, Krista, kill me. It was just she just rice. wiped that on me. It was rice. No, I think it was like one of those little noodles that comes in the restaurant. Krista, I don't want it on me. Why do you always wipe stuff on me? That's funny. The first time that I went and got this tattoo right here, which is like Hebrew writing for this too shall pass. She hopes. <laughs> I know. My Zenith checked it with the rabbi, okay? The rabbi checked it and said that's how you do it. Anyway, the first time I went and got my tattoo, I thought it was going to be like Miami Anchor and all those shows where they'd ask me and I had my whole story of why I got this too shall pass and how I had fibro, had to drop out of university, blah, 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 blah. Guy couldn't have given two craps. He didn't ask me anything. We found way closer parking than usual and I'm really scared. I didn't wait like an hour. I hope not. So we're at the place. So like she's nervous. We said that the font that she wants won't work because and it's too it, intricate. Like the length of it's it. too small, and it also will go down too wide on her neck and wrap around. So she might have to like split the sentence in half and stack it. So we're just waiting for the tattoo guy to come in and play around with it and show us what it would look like and also how much it would cost. So I definitely didn't think we would come out of there without me having a tattoo, but we did. The guy who was there like drew it up for me because he said like mine was a little bit too intricate and I really liked the way he drew it. Like it still looked good. Like I'd have that tattoo, but I was massive. Look like, I don't know. I feel like I've seen people on like the gang people on like Law and Order have like tattoos that were that big. And he said he really couldn't go that much smaller. So he said someone else is in tomorrow that can do it a lot smaller, but or he didn't even say a lot smaller, he said somewhat smaller, but it would need to be like really small for me to get it. And then I was like, I don't know if this really works on the neck. So he was like trying to tell me like, I should change the placement of it and put it kind of in the middle, like top part of my back. And I don't, I don't want that on my back at all. I wanted like a little small something on my neck. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I'll figure it out. But yeah, we walked away for now because I'm not gonna do something that I don't love. A wimbo it, 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 in the jungle, the body jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the something jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone, pick up the phone, pick up the phone, pick up the phone, pick up the phone. Oh, Juliet! Ooh, pick up the freaking phone. A wimbo way, 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 wimbo way, a 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 wimbo way, Juliet, pick up the freaking phone before we smack you in the face. <laughs> We're back at Kristen Julian's apartment. Kristen's just getting herself some cake butter kiwi craze. I just had some classic pumpkin. We were in the kiwi craze place and Krista was trying the cinnamon apple flavor. And how did it even come out? Because it didn't just drip from the cup. Also, she like spit some stuff, some... Um, ice cream out onto the floor and then just looks at it and laughs and walks away. We're gonna you edit today's video now, so we Do will say goodbye. Goodbye for me. Sorry to disapoint you about the tattoo. Krista, do you have anything to say? Sweet dreams, my beautifuls. <laughs> Sweet dreams, her beautifuls. This one at the end. Oh my god, just it would be so funny. Just the back of you dancing. Why is your camera always blur out? It's so blurry. Oh my god, my goodness. Oh, was I getting good? Oh, you're putting it in whether you like it or not. <laughs> just can't like heavy breathing and everything. I wish I could do more of a full. Oh my god. <laughs> we will below you must hate you. Shouldn't usually do this, thankfully. Okay, so they're probably gonna come up and complain.